welcome to another episode of the Global Indian Television and I'm Satish Rai. Uh, today I'm going to bring you a sad news. Uh, some of you already probably know uh, that the uh, owner of Taras International in Liverpool and the former owner of uh, popular Bikumar and Sons, which was situated in the Shalimar Street in Suva, died on uh, Monday. And news travelled uh, very, very quickly uh, across here in Sydney, through social media, through internet, through telephone. And uh, the funeral uh, took place on Friday, which was uh, in Sydney yesterday. Uh, and a lot of people attended uh, the funeral in Lippington and his to Dio Rivision was there as well. Uh, we managed to talk to a uh, few people uh, as a tribute to the respected uh, person of our community and icon, uh, we can say, both the uh, Taras International and Big Kumar uh, was an uh, icon. Uh, here and also in Fiji and here uh, we're going to show you uh, what some of the people had to say when I spoke to them. Uh, Raj Maharaj, a well-known person who has known a uh, band for a long, long time, he was here at his funeral. So Raj, is, uh, how do you remember Ben? Ben, uh, I've known him since 1960. He, uh, he had his, uh, apparently I just found out that he had opened his second shop in uh, Dombati. And uh, I've known him since then. Okay, and uh, then uh, about 15 years ago, we know he came to uh, Liverpool and he opened his uh, shop over here. So, uh, did you get to meet him again? Uh, no, I met him before that because his younger brother was married to my uh, Sari. Uh, apparently, he's passed away, I think, four or five years ago, Jen. And uh, we had a great relation. He, before he opened that shop up, he used to come around and uh, we used to go around to parties. And, uh, and what was your initial uh, thought when, when we had the news and you know, we were all shocked? It was a very shocking news because um, apparently he was, a, he was a down to earth sort of guy, very healthy, you know, uh, well uh, uh, maintained, like you know, he turned vegetarian after maybe about. 10 years ago, always into prayers and always used to carry a little notebook where he'd uh, open up and uh, do his singing with career. And a uh, very humble person uh, since I've known him, you know, uh, kid when I've known him, but he's a very humble person. Okay, thank you, Raj. Uh, Anil over here, Anil is a well known person, a personality, I'll say, in Liverpool. And uh, Anil, uh, did you? How long have you known uh, Ben? I know him from Fiji when he was running Big Kumar supermarket. Yeah, and then uh, about 15 years ago, I think, uh, he came and opened uh, Taras in the name of his uh, late wife. Uh, and uh, I'm sure you have uh, had a lot of uh, interactions with him. Uh, tell me your first thoughts when you uh, heard uh, that uh, Ben was no longer with us. It was surprising to see such a fit person, such an energetic person, and uh, things happen so suddenly, you would never believe that it can happen to anybody. Like you, we are a sports person. He was a very keen squash player. Uh, he used to play squash with me. Yeah, he, he wanted to play squash with me for a while, a yeah. time ago. He asked me to go and join him and play. But I normally play golf, I didn't have time, so yeah. we didn't make it anyway. Really, I had a very big surprise. I was really shocked. And I couldn't believe it. I thought somebody ringing me, it was April 1st. Yes. And um, because two days before on Friday, we met together. And he was good as anything. And nobody ever expected something to happen. His health was good, very healthy. Yes, uh, he was a very keen, uh, keen uh, soccer player, uh, no, squash player. 
Yeah, he was very, and he was playing two, uh, squash about two, three days a week, and he go for jogging every week, every morning. Uh, yes, and, and he was very healthy. I was very, very surprised. For a while, uh, for a while, uh, you shared uh, same street. You had a shop very near his shop in Northumberland Street. Uh, that would have been uh, in a times where we would have met him more often. Yeah, we always met quite often there. And actually, last two months I've been meeting, uh, seeing him, but three times, four times a week. I heard that uh, you supplied uh, fresh the rukwati. That's right. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. And yes, uh, and I believe. Uh, so you'd have been interacting with yeah. him. Yeah. And he was one of my biggest uh, customers in selling the uh, And uh, if you like to remember, how would you like to remember a band? Um, I think he was a very uh, honest person and he loved everyone. Uh, now I've got a very prominent business person and a very prominent uh, singer and personality from Liverpool, formerly of uh, Lotoka Fiji, Guru Dev Charan. Uh, Guru has uh, a uh, a travel agent which is almost next door to uh, Tara's, uh, which uh, was owned by Ben. Uh, first of all, uh, Guru, your uh, initial thought when uh, you heard, like us, that Ben was no longer with us. Uh, I heard about him on Monday morning when I was coming to work. He's with my neighbor, not too far away, where my travel agency is. So I was advised by his workers that uh, Ben passed away Sunday night. And I really felt it because I always used to meet him in the morning. Whenever I used to come in the morning, nine o'clock, he used to be there at his door. And we used to greet, greet one another and then go to the office. Yeah, I've got a uh, very prominent uh, personality of the Fijian diaspora now living right here uh, in Liverpool, uh, Mr. Uh, Harish uh, Sharmaji. Uh, and uh, Sharmaji, uh, please, uh, you have known Ben for many, many years, probably from B. Kumar days. Uh, first of all, I'd like to have your thoughts about when you had uh, of uh, Ben's probably premature uh, death because he's still very young. What were your thoughts? First of all, it was hard to believe that Ben was no longer with us because only a few days prior to his death I had met him. He looked quite well. But one never knows when death will strike. Ben was a long time friend and as you have rightly said, I have known him from PD. For the better part of his life, apart from his business, he spent helping people, religious organizations, charitable organizations. He lived a good, good life, a very full life. And uh, in his death, we all are very sorry and uh, pray to God that may his soul rest in peace. And may the Almighty give his family members the necessary strength to bear such a great. And uh, now with me is a uh, uh, very prominent uh, personality, not just in uh, Liverpool, but uh, throughout the uh, Fijian diaspora, uh, Pandit uh, Sajana Nanji. He is here. Uh, yes, I ask everybody else, Panditji, uh, when you heard of this uh, untimely uh, death of uh, uh, Ben, what were your initial thoughts? I was really shocked to hear because I believe, I think I met him at the Girmit festival and uh, he looked so well and always had a smiling face. I know Ben since uh, I believe 1976 when I moved to Suva from Reki Reki. I used to live at Erawa Road, which is opposite Suku Park. And he happens to run that big Kumar supermarket, which is just walking distance. And I always found him a very helpful person. And uh, he was always willing to give donation for good cause. And uh, I used to shop uh, at his uh, supermarket. 
and we had a very close um, tie with him and uh, having migrated then I, once again I had the opportunity of meeting him in uh, Liverpool here and used to come whenever here and then we had to sit down together and discuss uh, issues of common interest. Pandit Ji, uh, you see, aaj, uh, itna sare crowd, public have come out in large numbers that shows how popular uh, Ben was uh, amongst our community. It will be hard to probably fill the gap, uh, the vacuum which has been created. What are your thoughts on, on the people who have come out and Indeed, support? indeed, it is because uh, what, whatever we do in our life, that goes with us. And the, the presence of such a huge crowd here is an evidence in itself that uh, Ben had done uh, a lot for our community. Not only here in Australia, but back home, as I already said, in Samabula, when we had the, uh, the, the Shaswatra Ramayana Manli, which was built opposite Sukupa. Mm -hmm. And uh, he gave a very generous donation towards the erection of that temple. And uh, I happened to be the treasurer in those days. Uh, and uh, he used to come to the temple and the other family. They're all very um, obliging and very uh, helpful. Now I've got a very uh, prominent personality uh, from media, uh, Shri Tej Ram Premji. A lot of people in the Fijian diaspora would know uh, Tej Ram Premji from Fiji and over here he's very, very heavily involved in various issues and uh, he also involved uh, in uh, the mandir where uh, Ben Kumar was uh, a prominent member. Uh, as I asked everybody else, uh, Premji, uh, when you heard of uh, demise of Ben, what were your initial thoughts? I was very shocked because I was with him just a Friday that he passed away, I think on Sunday or Monday was it? Monday. He, Monday. And he was there on, on Friday and we prayed together, we had our dinner together. And he was active and he was good and it never felt like he would be gone and depart so soon. Uh, he was always a good athlete, he was a vegetarian, he, he never smoked, I mean earlier on he probably did, but he, he was a non-smoker now, and total vegetarian, and... Uh, yes, great. and he also gave up, I went to shop after three years, uh -huh. uh, coming from, from Fiji and said, Ben, uh, kai. The play, Satish, I'm exactly, he gave it away, he gave up everything to live a good life and then all of a sudden something like that were to happen, it was quite shocking. What else is one supposed to do? Yeah. The crowd over here shows that how popular uh, Ben was and people of all the works are here. Uh, personally, you know, what, what, what are the memories, uh, because we only carry memories of departed people, what are the memories you have? of Ben? Um, Satish, I knew him from a very, very long time when he was uh, operating B. Kumar Fiji Limited. I used to live just across the hill, uh, you know, almost very near to Shalima Street. I was in Videsi place and he, his shop was in Shalima Street. So we were neighbors in that sense and also at Radio Fiji, when I was head of Hindustani programs, I had a lot of connection with him. I tried to revive a lot of culture and music and he was the first sponsor for our weekly bhajan program and, and I found him to be very religious, very cultural, always wanting to promote local artists and local people, a very humble person. Uh, he always had time for you wherever you were and he'll, he'll greet you with a smile and he had time for his customers and so customers have time for him. All these people that you see here are also satisfied customers but he built a personal relationship with each of his customers. He took the time out to listen to you, listen to your worries, your problems, um, you know, and he donated very lavishly to a lot of charities. Uh, if anybody came for, whether it's a cancer society or whatever, um, he would go very, very gladly and go you know, and help. And whoever came with a ticket or any kind of donation, he will simply, you know, definitely donate something or the other. So he, he was, he was a. He was a philanthropist in that sense, as well as a businessman. A lot of people just make money, but he, he, he was somebody who loved the whole humankind. And so he built customers, not through just because he put specials and things like that, but mm. because he built a rapport with people, which I think is very unique and not many of our modern business people tend to do.
is Sashi Lal, who is uh, another very prominent uh, member of our community. And uh, first of all, uh, Sashi, I'm going to ask you a question, which I've asked everybody here today. Uh, what were your initial thoughts uh, when you heard of uh, Ben's uh, death, probably earlier this week? I was shocked, more than surprised and shocked in horror. Yeah. A lot of people, he was a very, very well-known personality in Fiji. He was running uh, B. Kumar in Shalimar Street in, in Suva. Uh, did you know of him then or did you? Yes, I did know of him then. Um, and we, uh, we were friends then and then when he got to Sydney and we were friends for so many years, quite a long years, since he started his shop. Yes, you are also a business woman, uh, one of the few uh, Indo-Fijian business women over here doing a lot of things and very successful. So as a business person, you would have had a lot of opportunities to interact with Ben. Yes, we did. I remember the initial days when we had problems with videos and, you know, the DVDs and videos. We had a lot of piracy problems. And Ben was the one always in the meeting. He always attended those meetings and he was the first one always to speak up and do the right thing. He never did the wrong thing. Yeah. All the other shopkeepers tried to do the wrong thing and bend some rules, but Ben was always there saying, no, 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 let's just do the right way. And I actually looked high up on because of that. Now I have got uh, a very, another very prominent member of our community and the uh, co uh, prominent member of the Fijian diaspora community, uh, Mr. Anil Singh, who is a uh, uh, lawyer and also he's the president of the uh, Ramakrishna Temple in Austral, uh, where Ben was uh, a very, very uh, prominent member as well. But uh, first of all, I'd like to ask you one question is uh, Anil, when you heard of uh, Ben's uh, death, what were your initial thoughts? Uh, on Sunday night, uh, getting on to early Monday morning, I found out. I was very shocked because it wasn't long ago that I'd met him at the temple and I knew he was at the temple on Friday night. And within 48 hours, he just left us like that. There was no inkling of any illness. He was never sick. He was a deeply religious man. Always came to the temple unassumingly, prayed, had a few words at the end. Thus, he left. I deeply shocked by it. He was a great friend of the temple. He was a very young 71 year old man because of his life habit. And also he was a sportsman, he used to love to play squash. Yes. And uh, you'd probably remember him from those B. Kumar days. Correct. Mm. When I first met him, I met him there in Chalima Street, I think it was, near off Grantham Road, to be accurate. And I was struck by his generosity. And, um, I was, and from then on we became friends, till this day. day. And, uh, and he used to uh, sponsor shows, cultural shows on the uh, on, Re on Radio Fiji, I remember. Yeah, he, he did so. He, he, he had a very wide variety of interests. But uh, at the bottom of it, he was a deeply religious man. He was a great Hindu person. And he was a patron of our temple. And he gave us generously. Whenever the occasion arose and when there was scarcity of an item, members of our temple would say to me, if you ring Ben, he'll give it to us. Because that was the general uh, goodwill that he generated. And also, he was a very humble man. If ever entered his shop, he leave everything, he will pay attention to you. That is correct, Absolute correct. absolutely correct. Very humble. He was never struck by his wealth or the, being a pioneer businessman or anything like that. Always unassuming, always uh, caring, always trying to do good. He was a do-gooder. Now, uh, you were in Fiji recently, as you know, setting a business. Uh, he is known all over the Fijian diaspora. Thousands and thousands of people yes. know. What message, because they would be equally shocked. Uh, what message as a president uh, of the Sabah here would you give to those people who are probably grieving uh, overseas? Yes, my message to him is that uh, he's a person that we can look up to even in death. 
Mm. Because we can learn so many things from the way he led his life. Tragedy fell him in 1997, I think when he lost his wife. And uh, he was never the same again, but he kept it to himself. Mm. If there was a joyous moment, he'll share that. But he hardly spoke about his grief. What we learn from him at, at the end, like we stand here today in Leppington Cemetery, ladies and gentlemen, is that we come on this earth, one day it's our turn to go. We don't take anything. But Ben, we can say, he didn't go empty-handed. He gave us so much. And we will forever cherish his memory at the temple. Because it was Ben, I know, when we thought about the concept of building a temple in the greater Liverpool area, Ben gave us encouragement. I asked this question to George, the secretary of the temple. Uh, is there any plan, probably you have not thought about it, is a lot of people wanted to come to the funeral today to pay respect, but they are working, say, it's Friday today. Is there any plan to have a memorial for Ben at the temple or any other place so that they can come and join in and share and pay respect to uh, Ben and his memory? Um, quite rightly, uh, we should do something and we want to do something. Uh, for some reason, I'm always uh, flabbergasted by this. We Hindus don't celebrate death very well at our temples. We celebrate every other occasion, but for some reason we take a back step when it comes to celebrating a man's life. But a memorable, a memorial service sorry, will indeed be uh, the last salute to this man because he did so much. Yes, uh, as, as you've asked me this question, I have now come to a firm conclusion that we must. We must have a memorial service with prayers dedicated to his memory in a big place like our temple, which he helped build, where everyone can be part. Today, half the crowd was outside, mm. and very sad to say that a lot of them were making a lot of noise outside. Mm. I'm very mm. uh, certain about that. But uh, the reason mainly was because the chapel here could not cater for the large crowd that came to pay homage to him. So yes, uh, Satish, thank you very much. And, uh, I will talk to the management committee. And definitely we'll do something. As you know, he was our patron. He was mm. elected patron. He had been for many years. And uh, he was one of those people who was a real patron. He promoted us wherever he went. I'm very happy to hear that uh, uh, memorial will be organized and when a date is fixed uh, would you invite you to to come back to our studio and tell the people so that they can come and join in the memorial yes thank you uh, thank you very much Sitesh. thank you Anil. thank you okay and now of course uh, another prominent member of our community in Liverpool and a prominent member of our Fijian diaspora a solicitor a lawyer from Liverpool, Mr. Vijendra Prasad. Like so many people waking up on Monday in Sydney and in Australia, uh, Vijayan, uh, you may also probably uh, were informed of uh, the tragic and sudden death of uh, Ben. What were your initial feelings when you got the information? The news came to me on Tuesday and I was not aware that Ben had passed away on Sunday. Though I had met him on Friday and a few other days during the previous week. It came to me as a shop in a place called Dumbati, a very small shop where he used to sell a few items wholesale. And then moving to Salima was after 10 years from where he was originally. And we started his business. And then, uh, as we know, post-1987, a lot of people uh, left Fiji and uh, people settled in Liverpool. And uh, he came to Liverpool around uh, 14, 15 years ago, and you are already uh, in Liverpool then. 
Uh, yeah, he came about 15 years. I've been here for about 27 years. But Ben is was still continued business in Fiji. But when he came, Ben was also a, a relative, a distant relative. But we, get, we used to get we used to have some social together. I must say, Ben is a very good singer. He was a very good singer. So we, when we had few drinks, we will sing. A long acquaintance going back to about 30 years from Fiji and his nature, his uh, modesty and uh, were some of the qualities that I admired and I was inspired by it. Thank you Vijayan and we'll talk about other social issues in a community as we go along. Thank you. Thank you Satish, thank you very much. There were only small section of the uh, people who attended uh, the funeral of uh, Ben Kumar who spoke to us. You had them and what they had to say. Uh, we are very, very sad that uh, Ben is uh, no longer with us. Uh, his memories will be with us for a long time. Each time we are going to travel past his shop in uh, Northumberland Street, uh, not far from here. We are going to uh, remember him each time we travel we go to the mandir we're going to remember him uh, each time we go to akash restaurant which is owned by his sister and brother-in-law we're going to remember ben he's going to be in our memories uh, but now we're saying to uh, goodbye to uh, uh, Bikumar and it's a goodbye from me satish rai